It was a prescription for 10 days. On the ninth day, my arms went numb. And that night I woke up around midnight with it felt like flames were coming out of my elbows. Now this woman's life has changed forever. We're talking about going to the physician's office, having a little sniffle, walking out with an antibiotic, and then shortly thereafter, having these kind of problems. Today on Dumb Arbor Life, we look at a powerful antibiotic being overprescribed, its life-altering side effects, and what alternatives you can use to make you feel better, not worse. The thought of more snow could have you feeling worse now than before, but it's coming. WBOC Chief Meteorologist Dan Satterfield tells you how much you can expect and where. Believe it or not, the snow is a good thing when it comes to your lawn. We're going to see firsthand the fertilizing benefits and just how soon you should be getting your first chemical treatment down. Plus, find out the reason behind some local misshapen branches. Many of you have experienced that unconditional bond between you and your canine pal. You probably even think he or she would do anything for you. Coming up, we show you a dog whose job it is to do just that, even take a bullet. He's uh, truly, truly my best friend, but truly, he's my lifeline. Our Sean Stryker shows us this amazing bond and partnership in today's Day in the Life series. Plus, find out how you can help a local sheriff's office add more to their canine unit, all in the memory of this officer, Deputy First Class John Norman Brune. Well, if you know anything about me, you know I like food and I like geek moments. This one was one of my favorites. After 70 years of being listed as missing, a downed World War II plane has been found in the Western Pacific Islands of Palau. Letting the family of two airmen listed as missing in action have some closure. And in the middle of the discovery, a local university. WBOC's Mike Chesney tells you how they got involved and what's next on the mission. These actors and actresses are on a mission to bring you a storyline you'll not soon forget. Today we hear from some of your favorite Young and the Restless castmates and learn why this storyline is like none they've experienced before. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marble Live from Historic Studio D. So did you get snow last night? Got a little. Got a little dusting. Yeah. Well, we're expecting more snow tonight. Let's check in with WBOC Chief Meteorologist Dan Satterfield in the Storm Tracker Weather Center for more. Well, Jimmy, Lisa, here we go again. Another snowstorm on the way to Delmarva. And just like the last one, the heaviest is going to be to the south. Areas in blue there, that's a winter weather advisory. But the pink counties, that includes Dorchester, Wacomico, all the way down into Accomack County. That is a winter storm warning. Nothing on radar out there right now. But look it down to the south. A rain, sleet and snowstorm underway. That's the storm that will impact us later tonight. It is beginning to move in our direction. So how much snow could we see? Well, three to seven inches extreme southern Maryland down into Accomack County. It looks like a pretty good swath of two, maybe up to four inches for Wacomico over to Ocean City, most of Dorchester County, and then one to three north of Georgetown. I will tell you, though, that the way this storm is tracking, if it tracks just a bit farther to the north, we could see heavier snowfall totals than what you're seeing there across the midshore. It will all start around 3 a.m., pretty much done by 11 to noon tomorrow. We'll keep you updated. All right, Dan, thank you very much. We're going to stay with you to find out what's going on. All right, I'd rather think about summer. We already <laughs> know how good they are. Thrasher's fries from the boardwalk in Ocean City. We <laughs> ate plenty of them during our shows during the last Sunfest. In fact, we wouldn't share any of them with Sean. Nope. Well, now the rest of the world knows, thanks to a BuzzFeed article by Jessica Meisner entitled 23 French Fries You Have to Try Before You Die. Thrasher's came in at number two. They said, a boardwalk staple in Ocean City, Thrasher's has a controversial rule for eating its signature peanut oil simmered fries, no ketchup. Uh -huh. But once you douse your fries in yummy apple cider vinegar, you won't <laughs> even care. So if you have it, you got it. <laughs> okay, so as has become tradition with uh, me and my son Zach, even though he's almost 19 now, <laughs> uh, we went to the Globetrotters game last night. <laughs> And as always, they put on a great show, interacting with the kids and the grown-ups. One of their players, Jonte Too Tall Hall, you can see him there on the other side of the ref right there, uh, stands at a towering five foot two. He's actually from Baltimore. You know, I remember the days of Meadowlark Lemon, Curly Neal, Goose Tatum. Yeah. Oh. 
Awesome. Yeah, I do remember those days as well. Hey, we got word from the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office shortly after Lieutenant Tim Robinson profiled Chastity Star Maine Waters on Monday's show. She turned herself in. She was wanted for failure to appear on the charge of controlled dangerous substance distribution and conspiracy. You know, it just goes to show the reputation that you, our viewer, has built up. The fugitives know that you're out there looking for them. They know. Mm -hmm. While we're talking about law enforcement, um, there's been a lots of discussion about military surplus going to local police. Take a look at this Humvee at the Blades Police Department. The scrutiny and the criticism are coming up after use of vehicles in Ferguson, Missouri. Here's the Humvee the Fruitland Police Department received through the federal program. If you'd like to find out more about the ins and outs of the program and what it could mean to you, you can check out Makia Turner's feature story today on WBOC.com. Maybe you would like to have coffee with a cop. The second Coffee with a Cop is coming up Saturday in Easton. Here's Easton Police Corporal Tim Laramore at the first one at Joe's Bagel Cafe. This happened on Friday, February 6th. This Saturday, you can visit with a cop over coffee at McDonald's and Main Roots Coffee in Easton. It's a community outreach for the police officers to build relationships with the community members. I like where they meet in the business. It's yeah. kind of like neutral ground mm -hmm. or something like that. Now. Okay, it's not breaking news that Delaware is facing a heroin epidemic. So the Sussex Action Prevention Coalition of Sussex Community Services is holding their second annual anti-drug youth conference. That's coming up tomorrow in the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Uh, this is a shot from last year. More than 300 youths are expected for prevention workshops addressing cultural competency, bullying, suicide, and substance abuse in a fun, music-filled environment. The anti-drug youth conference tomorrow from 8 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. If you want more information, call that number, 302-535-1969. If the thought has ever crossed your mind about putting a business in downtown Dover or downtown Seaford, there's something that you need to know. Since Governor Jack Markell has designated Dover and Seaford as downtown developmental districts, there are various incentives tax breaks and reimbursements that are available to you. There's going to be workshops at the Dover Public Library tomorrow, 10 in the morning, 3 in the afternoon, 6 o'clock in the evening. If you want more information, all you have to do is call John Afredo. There's the number right there, 302-678. 4271. Do you remember your days in high school drama class? Were you in high school drama? Yep, I was skinny chessman one time. Oh, I wouldn't like to see that. No. Well, opening night for St. Michael's Middle High School Drama Department's Anything Goes is here in just a couple of hours. Elliot Fisher left is Sir Evelyn Oakley and Zoe Thomas is Hope Harcourt. Romances, mistaken identities, plenty of plot twists and intrigue to go around. All sorts of adventures await the passengers of the SS American. Now, the four-day run will be at the high school auditorium Thursday through Saturday at 7 in the evening and Sunday at 2. Ticket prices range from $5 to $10. going to be a good show. Here's a question for you. What do you do when your rescue needs a rescue? We come to the rescue. Community volunteers showed up after a water pipe burst in the Ridgely shelter and caused electrical issues that knocked out the heat in the kennel area. Executive Director Amanda Schowell said they had people show up to help that they didn't even know. And everything was back up and running by the afternoon. What a great story. What a great story. But few things are as much fun as an animal and a mirror. <laughs> Especially the young ones. Haven't quite got it figured out just yet. But if they could just get a jump on their playmate, <laughs> but their playmate does the same thing at the same time. <laughs> Gotta get them. Just not fair. <laughs> well, there are so many adorable and very smart and dependable dogs here on Delmarva, and they have a big job to do. We're talking about canine police dogs. Still ahead, Delmarva Life's Sean Stryker shows us a day in the life of a canine officer. Find out just how these incredible animals sniff out crime here on the peninsula. Another type of sniffing, the sniffly, sneezy type of sniffing where you just want to stay in bed. Up next, you're going to learn when to take an antibiotic and when to let nature take its course. But when it comes to antibiotics, how do you know the one you're taking won't cause a serious reaction? After the break, we learn about the very powerful antibiotic Leviquin. How one woman says the drug has altered her life forever, leaving patients and doctors to wonder, is the relief worth the risk? Well, it's certainly a relief to know that all this snow is serving some sort of purpose, right? A little bit later on, we're going to learn just how the snow may be impacting your lawn. Plus, why now is the time to start thinking about lawn care. Delmarva Life will be right back. 
Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.